Hey guys, Brooke and Laura here with Legal Talk Tuesday. And today we're gonna talk about five ways to protect your business. Um, if you're a small business owner or if you are someone managing a business, these are great tips today um, to help you right now get started in protecting your name, protecting your brand, and also protecting um, all the things that your business encompasses. Exactly. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is that you have to choose your name. Uh, obviously, this is very important. Uh, just kind of like if you have kids, choosing the name of your kid, they're going to deal with it for the rest of their lives. So same thing with choosing the name of your business. Uh, not only do you have to choose a name that you're super happy with, but it has to be available. And what that means is it has to be something that you can register with the Secretary of State, uh, that someone else doesn't have something too similar uh, so that it would block you from actually getting access. So you've got to research your name. Do some Google research, uh, you know, check the Secretary of State website, that kind of thing, in order to see if what you want to call your business is not even available. Uh, kind of, you know, first thing, uh, first thing to do. Uh, talked about the Secretary of State. Um, after you've picked your name, after you know that it's available and there's not something that's going to cause confusion or that the Secretary of State is going to reject, uh, because they're pretty stringent here in Arkansas about not being too similar to another name then you have to actually file with the Secretary of State to establish your business entity. So you can do that a couple of different ways. Um, and, you know, a lawyer is always available here at, at myvirtual.lawyer to talk to you about kind of your options there. But you have to pick kind of what type of business you want to be, whether you want to be a corporation, whether you want to be a limited liability corporation, whether you not, you want to elect for uh, S Corp um, for tax filings, there are all sorts of th different things that you'll want to consider before you actually pick what type of organization you want to be, because you'll have to do that when you file with the Secretary of State. Uh, there's also a filing fee that um, that they'll take from you. It's forty five dollars to file with the Secretary of State online. You can hand deliver your papers, I think, and they only charge you 40, but who wants to drive downtown to the government office and hand deliver your papers? So that step is steps number one and two are to pick your name, make sure it's available, file with the Secretary of State to make sure that you have that name. I'll, I'll just mention real briefly in there that if you're not sure if you want to actually create your business, there is an option to reserve your name with the Secretary of State. So if you need some more time to decide that if you actually want to start a business, there is a reservation option as well. You can also go on the Secretary of State's website. I was just going to add in real quick. Um, and there is a search tool in there. So like Laura said, you're going to want to search online to see if the name's available so you're not conflicting with anyone else out there. But also you can go in and search the Secretary of State's website uh, before you actually go to file as well. Exactly. Uh, which is that's what any attorney is going to do as well. If you hire an attorney to help you, they're going to have to double check uh, with the search functions inside the Secretary of State's website. So. Um, step number three, and this is a very, very important one in today's day and age, uh, 2019, social media is everything when it comes to advertising, marketing, things like that uh, to promote your business. So even maybe before you register with the Secretary of State, you want to grab up all your social media channels. So make sure that you get the names for everything. So your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, um, you know, LinkedIn, make sure that all of those names are available uh, so that you can have that name or some variation of that name so that when you go to market your brand, then you actually have your page the way that you want it to instead of you having to kind of come up with some weird thing uh, in order to, to direct people there. Right. And um, I mean, people will grab them up if you don't. Um, so, you know, we've had that issue and, and we want our name and uh, if you don't get it, sometimes people will hold them hostage. So um, so those are the first three things that you need to do um, to protect your business. The fourth thing that you can do to protect your business is you need to make sure that your internal documents are all in order. So if you have an LLC, for instance, then you're going to probably need an operating agreement um, if there are multiple members. It's always good practice to have it anyways in case you're audited or anything else. But um, your operating agreement is going to set out the structure and what happens in the event of termination, death, um, things like that. Or if you want to bring members on later. So it's always a really good document to have regardless, but especially 
You definitely need to have it if you have more than one member. And um, the same goes for a shareholder agreement and a corporation. It's a similar document. It's just what you get for corporation. But there are other documents too that you're going to need. So if you routinely provide services, you are going to need contracts for certain things. So um, if you're a photographer, you're going to need a release. Uh, if you are, you know, a website developer, you're going to need a contract with your client. Um, Contracts do a lot to help prevent uh, things, so they're very preventative, and they also set out those expectations. So those are really important things to have, um, and we offer those here and try to make those accessible and affordable for you know local um, small business owners owners here in Arkansas. So that's really important thing to remember. And the fifth thing you can do right now to protect yourself is to apply for a trademark. Um, you can apply for a trademark in your state. You can also apply for a trademark federally. So um, there's two different trademarks you can get. Uh, you want to be able to do that so that way if anyone else tries to infringe on your name, you have that there in place. Uh, and especially if you're in a business that you want to expand nationally, you definitely want to look into getting a trademark. So, um, Laura, did you have anything else to add to that? Yeah, I, the only thing I'd add, um, just kind of going back a little bit to registering your business with the Secretary of State, I talked very briefly about, you know, different types of ways that you can register, corporation, limited liability corporation, which is LLC, like Brooke just mentioned. Um, you know, if you're uh, a nursing professional or, you know, physical therapist, there are different, you have to be a professional entity, different things like that, that it does, you know, help to talk to an attorney about. But you also want to think about your personal liability when you have a business. So again, think about that with the type of entity that you want to create. That's where those limited liability corporations and partnerships and things like that can be really handy. Because if something happens, then you, uh, you, your personal assets won't necessarily be subject to, um, you know, somebody having a problem with your business. So those are good things that uh, that an attorney, speaking with an attorney, um, can help you out with. So that you protect not only your business, but that you also protect your um, your personal assets as well. That's all I my dad. Is that oh, thanks. <laughs> so, uh, what'd you say, Laura? I'll just say anything else that you want to add in. Um, no, I think that about covers it. Um, you know, we'll go into detail on some other business topics. We just kind of wanted to give you five things that you could look into to doing right now and start doing to protect your business where you're at. Uh, next week, we are actually going to be out, but we will be back the following week, which is Tuesday, March the 26th um, at 1130 a.m. Uh, and so we hope to see you guys there. Thanks.